As we've been reporting this morning, some polling locations are experiencing some technical issues and were unable to open right at 7 a.m. Fox 5's Dylan Kendrick just got to one of those locations and has an update for us. And it looks like the lines are pretty backed up now, Dylan. Man, uh, not what people expected as they woke up to vote this morning. I want to pan off so you can see just how uh, long this line has uh, accumulated here. Now, we're at McDonald Ranch, a community center, and uh, as I arrived, uh, there were poll workers out here who were uh, starting to, um, uh, announce, to announce to the audience, uh, not the audience, but these uh, voters who are waiting patiently uh, that uh, their internet service across the valley has been glitchy, and uh, not just at this location, but several locations. Two to three kiosks keep coming up and down for check in. They're telling uh, voters here that it's not the voter machines, but it's the kiosk. So I got one voter here. You tell me you've been waiting here for two hours now. You arrived around 645 to be ready to vote right at 7. Yes, uh, walk sir. us through your experience so far this morning. Well, you know, the poll workers are being really kind and hospitable. It's not really their fault, but obviously the crowd has been really frustrated, especially people. There was a line probably 200 people deep at 7 o'clock. And you know, a lot of people have dispersed to other places, but the wait times on the, the internet as well for the county are not showing for the other polling locations. So it's kind of like, why leave? You know, we're here and committed. So. And they're recommending that you guys you know, may choose other locations around town, but what you're saying is it's not clear on which one you should be going to because this outage is valley-wide? Correct, yeah. So the wait times are not accurate on the county website. So. You know, it's really a difficult choice if you want to leave and keep going or stay here. Now, I'm seeing a few people, I mean, not a lot, but a few people trickle in and out. Uh, what are they saying as far as getting people inside? Is it still possible to vote here today, is, right now? It is possible to vote. It's about five minutes per person. They're only being able to do one person every five minutes. So 12 people an hour is what they're saying right now. Obviously, there's a potential that goes up, but not really sure. You know, they say it's up to the IT. So, you know kind of a wait and see approach but right. you can vote it's not that you can't all right and do you plan on waiting this out or are you yes, going to try to go to another location yeah waiting it out my wife is actually driving to another location to see if it's shorter and if it is i'm going all right good stuff mike and uh, thanks for still waiting it out i mean voting is important i know none of these folks uh, anticipated waiting in line for hours and hours and hours but uh, uh, from what i've heard again from poll workers they're experiencing internet outages and glitches not just right here at mcdonald ranch but that's why we're hearing more and more reports Valley-wide at more polling locations are having trouble getting people in and out. For now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. All right, yeah, smart idea that uh, his wife is going to a different polling place. If the line is a lot shorter, he'll just jam over there. Yeah, but it is important right. to note uh, for, for anybody who is waiting in line, if you are in line still before polls close at 7 p.m., it is still your right to vote. You may cast your ballot after 7 p.m. as long as you're in line before then. Dylan, thank you are so you much. Saying, are you saying that those Correct. guys are going to wait no, till 7? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just want to make sure that <laughs> that's know. clear. Do not leave the line if it's close to 7 p.m. and, and uh, there's a place with technical difficulties because it is your right to get your vote in. All right. Thank